family. It's been a long time since we've done these Product Talk Tuesdays and I'm really excited to be with you here today. Happy New Year. I hope all of your New Year is off to a great start. I know here at Home Office we are very, very busy. We've got new products. We're looking into 2023, 24, and 2025. And the team is very busy looking at the latest science and the latest consumer trends, hoping to bring products that will help grow your business. I'm joined today with the lovely Desiree Elkins. Desiree was Rex's personal executive assistant for 16 years. years. 16 <laughs> years. And she has since transitioned over to the marketing team. So she's now assisting the marketing team with all of those fantastic efforts, again, to help you talk about the products and the business with others. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than rather talking about one product specifically. We gave you the opportunity to send in product suggestions and ask questions about products, give you information that you want to know. So we're going to have Des here time me because as you know, when I talk about products, sometimes I talk a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna limit me to one minute answers and I've practiced this, but I don't know that I can get it perfect. So I'm going to start, uh, I'll ask the question, then Des will start the timer, and then she's going to buzz me, and I'm going to have to move on. You guys ready? I hope that we've got a lot of people joining. Juliana's on the other side. Juliana, we've got people from all around the world. We do. Great. Everybody's joining and excited. Are you ready? Okay, You're let's ready. go. I'm going to start first by talking about the product suggestions that you submitted. Because we listen to you. I don't know if you truly understand that. We listen to you. And when you offer up ideas for products that you feel will help grow your business, and when a lot of you speak up about that same product, we capture that information, we put it into a spreadsheet, and the moment that it becomes what we consider statistically significant, meaning the, a lot of you have provided this recommendation or suggestion, we begin to act and look into the possibility of bringing these products to market. So I'm just going to name off the suggestions and then I'll turn to Des and we'll go ahead and answer. So product suggestions are, let's see, al aloe body toning kit, bath salts, bath set and relaxation spa set, protecting day lotion, BB cream, mascara, eyeliner, Sonia nourishing serum, relaxation spa lotion, I think that's part of the spa line, essential oils, vitamin D products, vitamin K2 and K1 products, products for the immune system, beauty products, new skincare, and anti-aging. All right, Des, ready? Well, here we go. All right. One minute. Here's the response. Some of those products that I mentioned out loud will be coming back to the market. Now I can't tell you which ones and I can't tell you when, but I can tell you that I read off from that list some products that are going to be returning to you very soon. How'd I do, Des? Oh, that was only 15 seconds. Awesome, that gives me extra time. Yeah. Okay, the next thing that we're going to discuss are suggestions. No, sorry, we just did suggestions. The discontinuations we just did. So we're going to dive right in now to the questions. So we're going to start with a question that is going to have a very transparent and honest answer and I'll explain why. Question, what is the source of the methylparaben in our propolis cream? Ready? Go. Methylparaben is a preservative that when used in a formula is used at a very minuscule amount. It is the most tried, true, and tested preservative on the face of the planet and because we use aloe in such a high concentration, that is the preservative that we use. This is a synthetic preservative. Now synthetic is not bad. Synthetic simply means it's naturally derived and then it's standardized, meaning it is the same no matter what the batch is, no matter what the source is, it is the same in performance and consistency every single time we manufacture propolis cream. I know some of you are trying to ask us to remove parabens from our products and believe me, we will try, but we're in a world of preservatives where we don't want to add a lot of preservatives and minimize the amount of aloe vera. So we're trying to find that balance, but methylparaben has actually been validated by our scientific advisory board. It is safe, it is effective, and it is in our formula so we can keep aloe vera at a high 
percentage. Buzzer. Buzzer. All right, next up. Which part of the fish does the oil come from in our Arctic Sea? Great question. Answer. Ready? The ready? Go. Go. <laughs> the, the fish oil in our Arctic Sea comes from the outside or the skin of the fish, the outer parts of the oils of the fish. Now, there are some companies that don't even know what the oil consists of in their fish oil type products. But here at Forever Nutraceutical, we know the exact source of the fish. We know that it is responsibly sourced, that we are not disrupting the food chain, the food supply, that it is a source of fish that has a high concentration of those fatty oils to give you a superior product designed with healthy omegas and fatty acids and also in a stable form, meaning that oil does not change in consistency during the lifespan of the product. How do we do? Good job. On a roll. That's awesome. Left. Okay. Let's see. We have a question about the Evershield. And this is the question is, we're researching Evershield and we see that there are some performance issues and possibly some ingredients that could be considered questionable. I say questionable because science differs and the information that you're researching may not be the science that we know and hold to be true. I can tell you we're aware of your suggestion. We are looking at a possible reformulation which will not change the performance but will bring those ingredients more current to your expectation today. So thank you for the question. Thank you for the suggestion. We're on it. We're working on it. Stay tuned. Perfect. Okay. Next up, I was just checking the ingredients of alpha E factor. Alpha E factor contains retinal palmitate, which is the weakest form of retinol. Can we have another product that has a stronger form of retinol? Again, this science is not entirely accurate. Retinal palmitate is a very stable form when used in an anhydrous formula, meaning a formula that is absent of water we're able to suspend that retinal palmitate in a formula that allows the skin to drink it in and deliver all the benefits of retinal palmitate. When you transition over to retinol, you start to transition into the drug category. And here in the United States, high percentages of retinol require us to manufacture those in a facility where there is a drug status. In order to keep an effective product that's designed to deliver your needs to your skin, help address those lipids, those fatty parts of the skin, keep them soft and moisturized. We have chosen an anhydrous formula, absent of water, with a stable form of retinol called retinol palmitate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, moving on. Question, why are there not electrolytes in Forever Daily? Especially since they're lacking in our diet especially potassium and magnesium? Wonderful question, answer. Forever Daily is a multivitamin, not a hydration, not a, an electrolyte replenisher. It is designed for that all purpose vitamin and mineral, designed to give your body a broad range of a percentage of those vitamins that your body needs to be at its optimal health. This is not an electrolyte product. Electrolytes are a different chemical, they're a different ingredient, and because of that, we would not put them in a Forever Daily tablet. We'd rather deliver them maybe in a stick sachet or something that you could add to aloe vera or water. So again, electrolytes are not important in a daily vitamin. Those are important more for people who need healthy minerals and electrolytes to stay hydrated for if you have extreme workouts or on those days when you're just feeling depleted. Perfect. Okay, next up, this is a good one. All right, question, why do we use soy instead of whey in Forever Light Ultra? And then there's a list of why the reasons they think that whey should be used in our formula. We chose soy to make a complete plant-based protein. That's the simple answer. We know that you have differing opinions about soy. We know that some of you are skeptical of soy, but in order to have a formula, a protein, that has no allergens from lactose or from whey and have a pure, whole, as complete as possible, plant-based protein, 
we chose soy for our forever light ultra now I'm going to pause right there, Des. We're going to stop the timer, and I can tell you we have heard you, and you've been asking for plant-based proteins of a different nature, and we may or may not be working on a product that meets your needs. Can't say anything more? Moving on. All right. Uh, next up, question. Is our collagen useful for pregnant women? I'm going to lump this in with some other questions. Question, what is the most suitable product for diabetics and cancer survivors? And then questions, what is good for psoriasis? What is good for dermatitis? What is good for someone with heart conditions, on blood pressure medication, thyroid issues, who has leaky gut? All right, all of those I cannot answer and you should not answer, please. We are not a medicine or a pharmaceutical company. We do not diagnose, treat, or cure any sort of disease that the body has. Those are questions that you should always refer back to a physician or a medical doctor so that somebody with those specific ailments can get the proper treatment that they need. You don't want to be recommending something that could conflict with medication, diet, or lifestyle. You wanna make sure that they're going to the right source who has studied those specific diseases to get advice from those specific doctors. Okay, let's see. Next up, this is gonna be an easy one. I'm gonna gain some time here. All right, is marine collagen better taken in the morning or in the evening? I get this question a lot. Ready, go, it is a good one. This is a great question. First of all, the most important thing is that you take forever marine collagen period doesn't matter in the morning or the evening the most important thing is if you take this that you take it so if you wake up in the morning and it's convenient for you take your marine collagen however marine collagen is most recommended to take in the evening as your body is winding down and as your body is starting those rejuvenation processes while you sleep so again it's ideal to take forever marine collagen in the evening but the most important thing is that you take it. You're gonna get the benefits if you take it in the morning. It's just gonna give you the most benefits if you allow your body to receive those ingredients, process those ingredients while it's in a rejuvenating state. Okay. I love it. I like it. I like it. All Maybe right. Take a bath in it. I, <laughs> I love this product. I can't get enough of it. And I know many of you have asked, when are we gonna get it? And I said during the teaser for this, this, this Facebook Live that we're not going to answer questions like that, but I can tell you we are working fast and furious on the supply. We're working to get it to your countries. Be patient. We're in a very interesting time when it comes to raw materials, shipping across the ocean, and getting those products to you. We know you want it. We know you want more. We are working the very best we can to get it back to you. Okay. Next question. Question, what's the difference between aloe moisturizing lotion and aloe body lotion? Great question. Actually, aloe moisturizing lotion is kind of in, not named exactly what it is. So, aloe body lotion is a lightweight fluid lotion that you can apply to your body immediately after you get out of the shower. It's a very a thin, it's more like a thin consistency so that when you mix it with water, the skin's still gonna drink it in very, very quickly. You'll notice when you use it, the skin just drinks it right in and it goes right into the skin where the skin needs it and leaves your skin feeling hydrated. Aloe moisturizing lotion's not really a lotion. It's a cream and it's a cream by the way of its consistency and the way of its ingredients. Both aloe body lotion and aloe moisturizing lotion have collagen and elastin and ingredients designed for those specific functions. But aloe moisturizing lotion is a little bit thicker, a lot more rich, and designed for people who have very, very dry skin. So if you were to try to get out of the shower and you still had wet, oh darn it, I'm out of Sorry, time. Sorry guys. Darn it, how to move on. <laughs> one's thicker, more of a cream, one's more of a lotion. They are absorbed differently by the skin. Okay, next up, question. How many boxes of collagen do people need or do you recommend to drink in a year? I love this question. You need to drink a collagen sachet every day that you want to see the benefits of collagen. 
Does that make sense, Des? Yeah. You need to drink it every, every single day. day. Just like you need to drink water every single day. You start, well, that's not a really good example, but there are some things that you have to do consistently every single day. And if you choose not to, then you're gonna have the results either lessen or you're gonna start to go into the negative or depletion. So collagen is best when it's taken every single day, every single week, every single month, all throughout the entire year for as long as you want to see the benefits of collagen, which is an abundant protein in the body designed to help restore or help with your protein in muscles, ligaments, tendons, skin, hair, nails, everywhere in your body, collagen is found and it needs support as we age. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Every day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> More collagen. <laughs> We're actually on a, on a ration right now, aren't we, Des? Yes. It's like people want to drink more than one sachet, and I say, nope, you have to only drink one. People say, can I drink two? You just need one, but stay with one because it's a hot commodity right yeah. now. Yeah, ration, ration. That's right. So, okay, next up, question. Is it really important to put royal jelly under the tongue to benefit from its effects? And there's a follow-up question that's kind of along those same lines. Is there a difference in the effectiveness of the product if you swallow, chew, or suck the tablets? And they're not referring to capsules. So yes, there is a reason that these products are given a recommended usage. The formulation is best when the product is used exactly as recommended on the bottle. If it's recommended to swallow a capsule, the very best way to use that product is to swallow the capsule. For instance, Active Pro B, it's a probiotic. The capsule is a protection to get it all the way down the esophagus, into the stomach, ha pass through those stomach acids and get into the gut so those healthy bacteria can grow and help to support your gut. Royal Jelly is great when put under the tongue as a sublingual, which means it is slowly dissolved into the system and processed in a different way. So the products are scientifically formulated to do exactly what they were intended to do. Follow the recommendations when taking them and you will get the best results from those products. One second left, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, I think we have two more questions. I believe we're at 15, 14 and 15, or 13. If we okay. go, if we have a number, uh, what, how much, what time are we at, Juliana? Can you give us a time check or, or does? Um, um, how many minutes in are we to the Facebook Live? All right, so we've got the next one that says, I'd like to know more about the bee products, Forever Bee Pollen, Royal Jelly, and Propolis. What do they do to you and why should my customers take them? We've got a lot of questions like this. What are the benefits of RG Plus? What makes marine collagen different than other products in the market? The answer, these are great suggestions and as a part of the marketing efforts, we're now going to be filming many little product training videos which address these exact questions. So today, later on, I'm going to be addressing one of these questions in a very quick one to three minute video which gives you the exact answer you're looking for in a way of a product training. It'll be found eventually behind your FBO login and it's there to help answer these questions that you are asking so frequently. It's like having Holly in your pocket. That's why. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Question. How does Forever Living Products make 99.7% natural aloe vera juice so liquid? Just wondering because the gel of the naturally occurring aloe vera leaves is more like a jelly and thicker in consistency. Great question. There is indeed 99.7 pure inner leaf aloe vera gel in Forever Living Products aloe vera gel. It's the processing that makes it thin. When we put it into that Tetra pack and pass it through the aseptic processing, it has to be thinner in order for it to be preservative free. So it's the processing that simply thins it out and chops up those fine, chunky, jelly-like particles into a very smooth, thinner liquid. But I can assure you that every part of that inner leaf is in the formula. Every part of those, those nutrients, everything that is found in an aloe vera inner leaf is contained within the bottle of aloe vera gel. 
It's simply the processing that makes it thin so we can keep it all together and get it to you in an unpreserved formula. All right, and then let's see, I think we're up to the final one. How, oh, oh, you're dead. What, how many calcium supplements can be given to kids 10 and 12 years old? I imagine this is a personal question. I too am a mother. I joined the company six years ago and started to use many of our Forever Living products with my teenagers. Um, all I can say is for a child, again, the same response applies. Children should use products that are specifically designed for children. Aloe vera gel, Forever Kids Vitamin, and Forever Bee Honey are great products for children. I, as a representative of the company, cannot recommend anything for a child because I don't know your child. So if you'd like to recommend something to a consumer or to a potential FBO, please make sure that that parent is aware of what's in the formula. Let them look at the packaging. Let them look at the ingredients. Let them, if they have questions, take it to their children's physician because a parent knows their child better than anybody else. They know their dietary requirements. They know their health concerns and issues. They know the entire history of that child and it's best for a parent to look at our products and make the recommendation for their child. Not for you to recommend it to a child, but for the parent of the child to do their due diligence Fine. and recommend those products. Woo! And that was a did. fast! <laughs> Hi, Des. I have easy stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. I hope these questions were helpful. Join us next Tuesday for a topic that came from these questions. I'll be spending about 15 minutes with you and we're gonna dive in deep with some transparent answers to the questions you have about Forever Living products. Sending you the biggest hugs and loves for a fantastically happy day. Bye. Bye.